Hello aviators! You are on the Skyship channel and today we will look at the new participant in the epic race of single aisle airliners and the main product of the modern Russian aviation industry. MC-21 is a Russian single aisle twin jet airliner developed by the United Aircraft Corporation, Irkut Corporation and Yakovlev Design Bureau. Yeah, that's complicated. The new MC-21 is a direct market competitor of the Boeing 737 MAX, Airbus A320neo and Comac C919 airliners. The history of MC-21 began in mid-2000s. At that time, the Russians were merging their aviation industry into one big United Aircraft Corporation. Something like Russian Airbus. And the newborn UAC had its main project, a new regional commercial plane, the future Suhoi Superjet 100. It was decided to start the work on it. The development of a new large airliner, entering into a direct competition with the two most popular jets in the world, was considered too risky. So, in 2008, the first SSJ-100 prototype made its maiden flight. The plane started its way to the sky and to the global market. Now, it became possible to start a larger and more ambitious project, MC-21. A couple of words about its name. In Russian, it spells MS-21, Magistralny Samolot 21 Veka, or in English, Mainline Aircraft of the 21st Century. The development involved two big design bureaus, Yakovlev and Ilyushin, the creators of Soviet and Russian civilian airliners and military planes. The main project curator was the Irkut Corporation, a large aviation entity which produces Su-30 jets and Yak-130 trainer aircrafts. In 2008, all the design work was given to Yakovlev. Initially, the plans were very ambitious. Irkut wanted MC-21 to take off in 2013, and by 2016, the aircraft was supposed to start commercial flights. However, design problems as well as the financial difficulties broke the original plan. Besides, the plane itself became more advanced and complicated. On June 8, 2016, the new MC-21 was rolled out at the Irkut aviation plant. The prototype made its maiden flight in May 2017. Well, it's time to look under the hood. MC-21 is a narrow-body, medium-haul passenger aircraft. Looking at the airframe design, it's a classic modern airliner. The aircraft has one of the most advanced airframe designs at the moment. It includes nearly 40% composite materials, on the same level as the new Bombardier C-series, and topped only by Boeing 787 and Airbus 350, the most advanced modern airliners in the world. The main design advantage, and the first such experience in Russia, was a fully carbon fiber composite wing that they like to name a black wing. Due to this new technology, like on 787 and 350 models earlier, designers were able to reduce the weight and make the wing more aerodynamically efficient. Also the tail, central wing box and some other elements are also made of composites. For now, MC-21 is the only plane in its class that uses this technology so widely. However, the fuselage is more classic and made of aluminum alloys. What about the engines? MC-21 can be equipped with two jet engine models that have different thrusts depending on the plane's modification. The engines reach thrust levels around 120 to 140 kilonewtons. It's planned to use two main power plants. First, Pratt Whitney PW1400G turbofans. The engines of this family are some of the most advanced at the moment and in addition to the MC-21, are used, for example, on the A320neo, Mitsubishi MRJ, Embraer E-Jet E2 and Bombardier C-Series airliners. The first MC-21 prototype was equipped with these engines. Second, the brand new Russian PD-14 turbofan engine. Developed by the United Engine Corporation, this engine is the most advanced model and presumably will be able to compete with other current generation models. At the beginning of the 2018, the engine passes certification, preparing to be installed on MC-21 prototype. The new two-pilot cockpit is equipped with five widescreen displays interface. 
Aircraft controls are carried out with side sticks, just like on all Airbus planes. As an option, the operator can order special systems, like head-up displays or virtual synthetic vision. The cockpit is developed for MC-21 by the Radio Electric Technologies Concern, in cooperation with the Rockwell Collins. Curious fact, Rockwell Collins is the main cockpit developer for the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, and it is the general subcontractor for the MC-21 and C-919. As a result, those three planes are like brothers. It's easy to determine visually. Three apparently different aircrafts have almost identical cockpits. The passenger cabin continues the new Russian trend to increase flight comfort by expanding the inside room. The fuselage is 4.06 meters wide, and the cabin width reaches 3.81 meters, which makes it the widest in this class. For example, the A320 cabin is 3.7 meters wide, and the Boeing 737 has the narrowest cabin, just 3.54 meters. It is logical, 737's fuselage hasn't changed much in that way, and as we know, it was created in the ancient 1960s. The C919 cabin's story is more complicated. Most of the information sources tell us that its fuselage width is nearly 3.96 meters, and the passenger cabin width is 3.9 meters, which means that the people inside the plane and the clear sky are divided by 6 centimeters of metal. Well, either the guys from Comac made the revolution in the aircraft industry, or the journalists got something wrong. The MC-21 cabin layout supports three basic classes. Business class, four seats in a row with 36-inch pitch. Economy class, six seats in a row with 32-inch pitch. And high density class, six seats in a row with 28 to 29-inch pitch. Having such layouts, MC-21 can accommodate from 132 to 165 passengers in the 200 version and from 163 to 211 passengers in the 300 version. Due to a wider cabin, it became possible to make a wider aisle between the seats, which can simplify and accelerate the seating. In addition, it will allow passengers to move freely even when the food trolley is there, without blocking the way to each other. The cabin is equipped with all the modern climate and entertainment systems. It was developed by the Russian Nauka Center, in collaboration with the American Hamilton Sunstand. The interior elements have been created by the French CND Zodiac. I'd like to note that it is very nice that despite another wave of stupid and senseless confrontations of politicians, engineers and designers from all around the world continue to work together, jointly creating new technologies and products. Globalization, money, or maybe the real world is just not as evil as some people want us to see it. Anyway, it's good. But I have to leave a comment to the UAC, the corporation that created the aircraft. Boeing has its unified model line. So does Airbus. But the UAC doesn't. The original SSJ-100 and the medium-haul MC-21 should be members of the same line. But those planes are developed by different design bureaus, using different technologies and systems, and as a result, they practically have nothing in common, even their names. Well, I hope their marketers are working on it. Modifications As I've said earlier, the UAC plans to create two basic modifications. The little version, MC-21-200, with a maximum takeoff weight of nearly 72 tons, will accommodate up to 165 passengers. The larger model, MC-21-300, has an 8.5 meters longer fuselage. Its weight will increase to 79 tons, and the cabin will accommodate 211 passengers. Model 200 will fly on a range of 6,400 kilometers, and the bigger 300, slightly less, 6,000 kilometers. Initially, UAC planned to create an even larger version, MC-21-400, but this 87-ton aircraft needed an enlarged wing and more powerful engines. Those facts would increase the program cost, so they've decided to postpone this project. So, what about the money and the orders? At the end of 2017, UAC has orders for about 180 airliners, 
with options for another 100. Mostly, these planes were ordered by the Russian operators, but there are several foreign countries. Serial production start is planned for 2018. During the first few years, they will reach production speed of 70 planes a year. A little extra about the future of this plane. The single-aisle aircraft market is a big and tasty pie. It is the largest segment of the entire aviation market. About 78% of all commercial planes are single-aisle models. In addition, during the next 20 years, the airlines from all around the world will buy nearly 30,000 planes of this type. And yes, this market is almost completely occupied by the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320 families. But now it is also claimed by C-191 and MC-21. According to its power plant specifications, MC-21 is similar to its competitors. The engines are often the same. According to aerodynamic quality and design, the brand new MC-21 is one of the most advanced planes for now. Presumably it allows 12 to 15 percent higher performance than the Boeing 737NG and A320 CEO models and nearly 6-7% higher than the Boeing 737 MAX and Airbus A320neo. Also, the advantage of the aircraft can be considered its low catalog cost in comparison to the leaders. MC-21-300 costs about 90 to 100 million dollars, while the A320neo is nearly 10 million dollars more expensive, and the Boeing 737 MAX cost is about 120 million dollars. The Chinese C919 is cheaper though, about 70 million. However, the cost of the plane is only one of the factors on the market. While manufacturers are selling the product, they are offering a serious package of extra options – financial support, maintenance, trainings and so on. In this context, sales and support systems that Boeing and Airbus were building for decades are far more superior than the ones Carmack and UAC have now. Sometimes creating such structures can be a more difficult task than creating the aircraft itself. Nevertheless, looking at its specifications and performance, MC-21 has good chances to conquer a fair share of the world market. It will be interesting. Thanks for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. Fast flights and soft landings to you.